Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see with Matomo Analytics how you can change the way the download tracking code is working. So let's get started. Okay, so typically you will need this um, tracking code change every time that uh, you're gonna play with download. So um, here's the use case example. It came actually from a Matomo user. Um, and this Matomo user has an issue because he has uh, some PDF which are available on a given link. And this given link is not gonna, this anchor link is not gonna change. For example, it's gonna be always named white paper or however, the file to download behind may be different. Okay, so that's uh, what you can see uh, down below. You have localhost slash WordPress slash WordPress WP content uploads, blah, 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 whitepaper.pdf. This uh, file destination may change over time. And as a result, if you use the default tracking code of Matomo to track download, which is called enable link tracking, you will always have a new value for this given uh, click made here and that's not what uh, you would like to achieve at the end of the day in some cases because it may make the data difficult to analyze. So we're going to see how you can uh, change that out. So as just mentioned, it's using the enable link uh, tracking by uh, default. So that's the following uh, command, which is used by default in Matomo. And if you would like to change this one in order to be able to measure only the given anchor link over time, you need to use the following method, which is here down below. Okay, so you need to add to your to your website the following line of code, pack push, track link, and then here you can hard code, in fact, the uh, information that you would like to send. So here in this given example, I'm going to use Matomo Tag Manager in order to do, do to do that. So uh, what uh, you need to do is that you need to go here on tags and then you need to go on uh, custom HTML tag. So this is what I did. I added a custom HTML tag and as a tracking code that I want to deploy, I'm going to um, add the following line exactly like in the documentation that I show you, right? So here you can put whatever you want. It's just hard coded. So it can be like uh, my hard coded link, my hard coded link. Okay. And then you need, of course, to define a trigger. So in your case, if uh, you are used to uh, track uh, a single PDF, then you're going to use the all downloads uh, click here. And then you can add, of course, your condition here, which is when I click on something and the destination URL is, for example, ending with PDF, right? Like this, you are unsure that and with uh, .pdf like this, you are 100% sure that every time that a click is gonna happen on a PDF, it's gonna be fine. And you can of course add page URL. So I could do it uh, as well for me. So like uh, those two condition needs to be filled in. It has to be um, a click on a file ending with .pdf and it has as well to be on the page which is containing the URL Sweden. Okay, like this, I'm ensuring that it's gonna play on this given URL only. Okay, then you need to make an additional change because by default the Matomo tracking code has the uh, enable link tracking features on. So if you don't uh, remove this given line of code, which is uh, over here, if you don't uncheck this one, what's going to happen is that you're going to have some double count. Okay, this is what happened. If you implement the tracking code I'm just showing you, uh, it's going to fire this line of code, which is the default one, and this one as an addition. And that's something you would like to avoid. So of course, you need to uncheck this one up here. And then you need to update. So that's that's pretty cool. Now everything should work as planned. And now I can just use the preview mode. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to uh, click and refresh my page. So here so far, I have not yet clicked on this given link. So nothing's going to happen. If I look over here in my data, you will see that actually no data have been recorded yet. Okay, so just the fact that this page has been refreshed. Okay, uh, but now if I click on this given link, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to press uh, CTRL in order to open it up within another uh, page. And as you can see, uh, I have this given trigger, which have been um, 
um, of course displayed loaded um, I had to trigger here because I just had uh, one before but you only did one as you can see it has been fired right this one all link link has not been fired but this one has been fired and execute uh, the HTML code that I wanted and as a result normally as now I um, added within this given element thanks to the tag manager the value that I wanted which is hard coded if I now uh, refresh my page I should see it coming in okay um, so as you can see I have it up here so that's not good actually that's not what I wanted so probably that's because I did not validate my, my tag so I made something wrong I'm gonna go over here and see if I save my custom HTML tag as you can see it seems that I didn't save it so that's not good so I say it was hard coded hard coded okay and now I'm gonna update it okay that's probably something that I missed uh, behind and probably I did not change this one did I okay so this one was fine okay so I just updated the trigger but I did not update the tag so this is what I did wrong okay and now if I'm coming back up here and I'm clicking on this given link over here Look at that. Okay, don't look like okay, everything's working as, as planned. And if I refresh my page, I should see my outcoded information. Okay. So that's what's gonna happen over here. Wow, page URL not defined. That's not good at all. Okay, I may have done something wrong. Okay, uh, I guess that what I did wrong is about the tag in itself. So if I go back up here. Uh, out coded and something okay so here what they are saying is okay last time when you copy and paste it you had to follow a given structure which was this one so in my case that's where my pdf should stand okay good to know uh, so here is the path of your file so in my case i'm gonna go and take this one up here oops and i'm just gonna like uh, give it a funny name Okay, so this one is the value which can be hard coded if you want, but I can just give a generic name which is going to be my PDF. Okay, my PDF. Okay, so the value is now hard coded, and there's just its a URL, so Matomo will be happy as it is what it is expecting to see. Okay, and let's update it and let's uh, do it back. Okay, that's it. And now let's uh, see here. I'll Okay, so everything's work as as planned, and I can even click the destination URL, page URL, and everything seems work fine. So I can just refresh my page, and uh, if I'm lucky enough this time, I'm gonna get my local host WordPress slash WordPress my PDF, so which has nothing to deal with the uh, real name of my file, as you can see here, and at the end I will get over here in downloads the thing that I want. So I will say the main inconvenient of this given method, okay, you can see it up here, is that um, by unchecking the enable link tracking um, feature, you are, of course, um, let's say removing all uh, the tracking possibilities of all the downloads on your website, such as the clicks on outlinks. So it means that you need, of course, to add some additional tags here in order to uh, track the other downloads and other outlinks but once more this is something that you will find within this given uh, documentation which is explaining how you can force either the downloads and either the outlinks and that's it uh, for the video of today so i really hope that you appreciate it please feel free to go on the documentation that i just indicated in order for you to really try those given uh, tracking code in order to either force the downloads and force the outlink uh, once more uh, thanks for watching this video feel free to share your own experience within social networks and make your video